I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. We're on to the last segment of the show, which is the shortlist for the Val race meeting. Let's get straight into it. I've got a Bipot banker for you. That's in race three, number two, Summerland. After looking at the form very closely, I've decided to actually banker this horse in the pick six as well. Then moving on to the place accumulator bankers, there is a common denominator there in the form of number two, Summerland. So banker in the Bipot, banker in the PA, Banker in the pick six, we're going all in with the number two, Summerland in race three. Then moving on to race number five, place accumulator, Banker, number one, Imperial Master. Form has been good in the recent starts. Uh, the form has worked out well, as you will hear from watching those previews that myself and Dees did. But pick six wise, you got to go a little bit wider. Then moving on to horses to watch out for, race number seven. Keep a close eye on number two, Clean Living. This is from the Corne Speciard, is having the second run in the high felt after running twice in KwaZulu Natal. Has run against some decent opposition, is currently trading at six to one, and we've also elected to throw this into the pick six. That is a wrap for me and my shortlist. It's been an absolute pleasure, as always, working alongside Dees Dayanand, who's going to take you through his shortlist. Away you go, Dees. Yeah, thanks a lot, Devon. Let's uh, bring up my shortlist. And we've got some similar uh, horses uh, throughout, especially in the first half of that. Uh, let's begin in race number three. Summerland, we agree with uh, that uh, the corner is piece run. It looks like the right field on that last start. Uh, behind uh, Tabby Cat looks like the right horse in the race, uh, the filly, the daughter of Karari. And you could possibly take a chance if you are looking for a pick six banker as well. In the pick six, I think there's just one other horse in that race, Arabian Sky, that I'll consider. So she is going to be a place accumulator banker and she's going to be a bipod banker as well. Then we move along to race number four, which is up next there. And uh, in race number four, yeah, I think that uh, this horse called Lord Tennyson is going to be one of the value bets on the card. First one as a gelding, form liner for the last start, has worked out exceptionally well with Fairlord coming to win twice. Articus Finch winning again for a winning for Alec Laird. That is a horse to follow. So we are going next to Letitia's Angel and into the groove. Well, Letitia's Angel, I think in that race, um, it looks like a race between two in race number seven, between Stormy Lass and Letitia's Angels. But Devon found a nice outsider that could be uh, the one that you're looking for if you're running in the pick six, number two, clean living as a possible roughie there. But I'm going to go Letitia's Angel. That's going to be good enough for the place accumulator there. So we've touched on Summerland. Uh, we've touched on Letitia's Angel and Lord Tennyson. Uh, in the bipod, I've also touched on Summerland. There's the one horse that uh, I haven't touched on there in race number one, Gimme the Flame. Well, that looks to be the obvious horse. And I think 18 to 10 at the time of recording is ultra generous about the daughter of Gimme the Green Light on the strength of her form line last time out and she looks like she is in the right field as well and then to close things off I got a horse to follow in a big field a very big field of 16 runners here into the groove is priced up at around 25 to 1 at the time of recording has tumble down absolutely tumble down yes yeah, she is he is low on confidence what's at 516 days uh, that he hasn't worn for, but a 25 to 1 from a 91 to a 61, that's 30 pounds or 15 kgs. Hopefully, with Joshua and Solomon's ups, could run a decent race there. And that is going to be the shortlist for both Devon Govender and I. All the best if you're racing at the Val on the 23rd of August. Eight races carded, some standout horses earlier on in the card, and then things get very tricky at the latter end. A pleasure working alongside Devon Governor and from ourselves, Dees Dainan, and the entire team at GTV. Until we meet again, you take care. Salarigas. Uh, my name's Danny Diliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014.
Communities we, we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.